some excited fans, and there's going to be some exhausted fans after the game because everyone's living every play. Oh, they really are. There come the Longhorns. I guess we better get ready to go back to work. Thank yes, you, sir. Barbara. Thank you. Good luck. Bye-bye. Okay, Stan. Well, actually, this great sports spectacle, as we said, started early in the week, and it still remains to be seen today in two quarters of action, which has the greater innate power, the immovable object, or the irresistible force. Arkansas with the nation's best defense against scoring, Texas with its greatest scoring machine of all time. Arkansas with a penchant for the forward pass as a passport to touchdown riches, and with the league's top rusher in Bill Burnett, Texas with the nation's best rushing record, and like Arkansas, mighty stingy in the yielding of real estate. In a nutshell, both teams with great offensive and defensive credentials, and both undefeated. Arkansas tees up the ball. We're ready for football action again. And here once again to describe the action, Connie Alexander. Texas will be receiving. They get to exercise the option here in the second half, and they want the ball. They've got to have it. They're down 7 or nothing. We have 30 minutes to go. Fasten your seatbelts. McClard ready to kick with the wind, about 8 miles per hour. Kicking for the north 40, the advance. Leather meets leather. It's a spiral going out of bounds, down around the 13-yard line of Texas. So Texas will probably take the 5-yard penalty on a new kick at the Arkansas 35. President Nixon is in the press box in the second half. And we just heard him talk to Mrs. Frank Broyles and two of their daughters. And we overheard him say to the little Broyles girls who are about 10 or 12 years old, the president said, you're kind of enjoying yourself. You kind of like the score right now, don't you? As Arkansas leads seven to nothing. The second half has not officially started. We had a kickoff, but the clock doesn't start until the ball is legally touched. After the five-yard penalty for the ball going out of bounds, Arkansas will kick again from the 35-yard line of Arkansas. A Texas band in the background. 45,000 spectators electrify the air of the Ozarks. Here's the kick. This one sails downfield, landing on the 12, and it skips out of bounds on the one, the two-yard line. McClard kicking off a sophomore from Norman, Oklahoma. So we've had two plays in the second half, and the clock has not yet started. How about that for an oddity? This gives us time now, as Arkansas will be penalized back to the 30 for the next kickoff. This gives us time to review briefly the statistics. First half in the first down category, Texas 8, Arkansas 7. In rushing, Texas 104, Arkansas 50. In passing, Texas 20, Arkansas 73. So check the total offense. Texas, 124 yards. Arkansas, 123 yards. Montgomery hit four of seven. Street hit one of four and had one intercepted. Texas lost a fumble in the turnover category. Texas lost two. Arkansas lost none. Wooster ran 16 times for 58 yards. Burnett ran 10 for 40. We're about ready for another kickoff at the north 30 to our left. Texas receiving at the south goal to our right. Bertelson and Spire. Now this kick is going towards Spire. He's got it on the nine, up the middle of the 10. 15, 20, 25. Angles left 30. Takes a tackle to 33. To the 35, giving ground to the 33. Over the 35, fumbles at the 36. Arkansas recovers at the Texas 37 yard line. Arkansas recovers. Steve Birdwell hit him and lost, uh, dislodged the ball. Birdwell dislodged the ball from the arms of Clinton Spire who made a great run back, and the fumble is recovered at the Texas 37. Now Arkansas recovered a Texas fumble in the first minute of the game and punched it in for a touchdown. Now they've got it in the opening seconds of the third quarter, first and 10 on the Texas 37-yard line. Levin of Arkansas recovered the fumble. First and 10, split left in, flanker right, two setbacks, split six defense. No, it's a 5-3 for Texas, three linebackers. Montgomery takes the handoff. Chunks left. Incomplete. Looking for Dykus at the 29. Dykus on a down and out to the left. Only 17 seconds of the third quarter have expired. Arkansas leads 7 to nothing. The Arkansas backfield. Montgomery, Burnett, Maxwell, and Dykus. They have Reese playing at the end. Split in. 
Dykus is playing back at a slot back. Texas front four, Atessa, Sled, White, and Arledge. Grand, the All-American center over the ball in the snapping position for Arkansas. Slot to the left. Snap to Montgomery. A feed to Maxwell. Maxwell charges into the line. Tries to funnel through, but makes virtually nothing. Maxwell on the carry, and Glenn Halsell is the lad who applies an empurpling tackle, and then he is aided by Greg Pletz and Carl White. The tackle made on the 38-yard line. Texas Territory is at the 38, third down, 11 yards to go. Arkansas leading 7-0, 42 seconds remaining are, to, are gone in the third period. Slip right in, flank to the left. Two running backs behind the tackles. Montgomery on a drop back pass. Cross fishes. He's hit once. That's the 46 of Texas. He shakes free to the 45, dumped, and falls to the 42. Villa Testis was the man who bumped him, knocked him off balance. And then David Arledge caught him in the bear hug and knocked him down on the 42-yard line in Texas territory. Now the down indicator shows fourth down coming up for Arkansas. Fourth down and 14 to go, and Stockdale the putter comes in. He's deploying back to his own 42. Steinmark is the run back man for Texas on the 10. Stockdale will kick with the wind. It's sort of a crosswind from his left. He sails it downfield. A spiral landing on the five, trickling into the end zone, and on out of the end zone for a touchback. 42 yards net on the punt. With 13.27 remaining in the third quarter, Texas takes over. Arkansas leads 7 to nothing. Total offense was almost exactly equal in the first half. Texas 124 yards, Arkansas 123. And we have a delay downfield, a Texas yell. thousand Texas boosters here this afternoon. There are 45,000 overflowing Razorback Stadium in Arkansas. And it is raining a little bit. During the halftime intermission, we could feel rain blowing in on us a little bit. We do have windows here, but we open them up because we like to be close to this thing. And you just can't imagine, you can't imagine what a thrill it is to be here at this great spectacle. One of the greatest spectacles in the history of sports, the Texas Band. The Texas Band of the Hog Call. Let's get that Hog Call. I missed it a little bit. Elvis Clark, our engineer, had us tuned in, but I got in a little late on that hog call. We're ready to go to action. First and 10, 20-yard line of Texas. Snap to street. Counter play to the left half, Bertelson, hitting at the center guard seam over the 20 to the 23-yard line. Roger Harnish, the sophomore from Little Rock, on the tackle. Jim Bertelson on the carry. He gained three. It'll be second and seven for Texas. The ball equidistant between sidelines. On the Longhorn, 23-yard line. Four-man front for Arkansas. Three linebackers. The Monster Man deploys to defensive right end now. Almost in the front trench. Three deep secondary. Split right end for Texas. Wishbone full house. The wide backfield. Street runs the option. He keeps. Wheels around the corner. Over the 25. Pedals to the 28-yard line of Texas. It'll be third and about two. Dick Bumpus is the man who triggers the tackle. And then Mike Machetti comes in to finally shoot him down. Two minutes and 14 seconds of the third quarter of a lap. The score remains. Arkansas 7 and Texas nothing. And that touchdown came in about the first minute or two of the afternoon. James Street was the man who carried that ball. Also a great baseball pitcher for the Texas team. Split right in. Tight left end. 6-2-2-1 Arkansas defense at the snap. Coy off left tackle over the 30 and spilled at the 32-yard line of Texas. And that's enough for the first down. Rick Kersey, an education major who wants to be a coach, made the tackle. Bertelson peeling around in front of Coy for the block and Peschel the tight end with a good block as they help open the gate a little bit for Coy for the first down of the Texas 32. Texas in possession. Coy was 10th in conference running with 413 yards, an average of 5.8, four touchdowns coming out of the game. Split right in. Four men on the front trenches. 
see who's got that ball. It's Wooster, and there is a fumble in there around the 35-yard line. And looks like Texas comes up with it at its own 35. Very difficult to spot the ball on that play. Texas has excellent deception with that fullback right up, piggyback on the quarterback. And sometimes Street hands it off quickly, and sometimes you just have to wait to see whether Street, uh, whether Wooster has that ball or not. It's on the Texas 35. Second down, seven to go. Texas owns it. They split their left in, and they put a flanker outside him, and they send Coy off right tackle, and Coy gets over the 35 or 36, and he is caught by eight Razorbacks. And the Porker posse carries him backward about three or four yards. Dick Bumpus was the first man to make the scene, and then seven more of his little playmates arrived, and they ruled that uh, Mr. Coy was stopped on the Texas 35. It'll be third down and seven for Texas. 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. Arkansas 7 and Texas nothing in case you just tuned in. Fasten your seatbelt. Four-man front. Three linebackers. Four deep secondary. Looking for the pass. Street is going to pass. He chunks it. Fire makes the catch to the Arkansas 49. Knocked back over the 50. The ball starts back to the Texas 45. It's hit by somebody there. Knocked into Arkansas territory to the 47-yard line of Arkansas. And Arkansas recovers. It's Terry Stewart of Arkansas recovering. Fire caught the pass. He lost the ball as he was hit from behind just after the catch. It went back downfield seven or eight yards. Somebody else tried to recover it. It was Bobby once. He lost it. It went back toward the Arkansas goal, and Terry Stewart recovered for Arkansas at the Arkansas 47-yard line. Arkansas got that ball. 10.44 to go, third quarter. Here they are to the line. Slot left. Two setbacks. One behind the quarterback and one behind the left tackle. It's an option. Pitch to the net. Left in. To the 45. The power streak to the 50. He's caught around the knees at the 47 and drags tacklers across the far line line at the 45-yard line of Texas. Danny Lester was the first man who leaped on him around the knees. Fred Steinmark came in to hit him high. And they rode him uh, over the covert, out of bounds at the 46-yard line of Texas. Second down, about four to go. Bruce Maxwell with a fine block. He is famous for his blocking. Four and a half minutes gone, third quarter. Arkansas leads 7 nothing. Second down, about three and a half to go at the Texas 46. Slot to the right, to the wide side of the field. Four-man front. There are about six linebackers for Texas. Montgomery is hit behind the line at midfield by Mike Campbell. Texas drew about six men up, about a yard or two behind the line. And Mike Campbell, who is a rover back defensively, blitzed and made the tackle on Montgomery. And they ruled that Mr. Montgomery was officially down the 49-yard line of Texas. It's going to be third down and uh, six yards to go. Third and six. Grand, the All-American Center for Arkansas, up and over the ball. Slot to the right. Reese put in. Dykus is slotted to the right. Montgomery stands in the cup. Now he bails out of the pocket. He runs to his 40, to his 45, the 50, fakes the pass, dodges the tackle, to the 45, the 40, the 35, hit from behind, horse collared to the ground at the 31-yard line of the University of Texas. Fred Steinmark and Scott Henderson were the two lads responsible for stopping it. It's a first down for Arkansas. John Reese with a good downfield block. Reese went downfield to be a receiver. Then he came back for a peel-back block. 9.43 to go in the third quarter. Arkansas 7 and Texas nothing. Now Arkansas is in Texas territory at the 31-yard line with the first down. And one of the games of the century. Reese splits it left in. Just outside the far hash mark. Dykus in the slot. Montgomery barking the signals. He's got the snap. He gives it on a dive play to Bruce Maxwell. The left half over left tackle, towering straight ahead, struggling inside the 30 to the Texas 29. Carl White and Scott Henderson warp him at that point. And a Texas lad is shaken up. Carl White. The ball rests on the Texas 29. Second down eight coming for Arkansas. There is a call timeout on the field with a score, Arkansas 7, Texas nothing. Football fever has certainly gripped the fans at today's big game. But this season of the year also brings on another kind of fever that strikes equally hard, Christmas shopping fever. 
And your participating ENCO dealer, believe it or not, can help you cure this malady in a most pleasant way. With a fill-up of eight gallons or more, he'll hand you a 300-piece Great Moments in American History jigsaw puzzle free. There are 12 different puzzles of famous scenes in American history, and you get one of them free with each eight-gallon gasoline purchase. They make great gifts for the children or anyone on your list. Hobby fans especially will like them because the finished puzzles can be made into a handsome decoupage, which also makes a fine Christmas present. Start your collection of free puzzles today while they last at your nearby Enco dealers. Remember, you get one free puzzle with each fill-up of eight gallons or more. Enco, where you get all the extras. This is KRLD 1080 Dallas, your CBS outfit for Dallas-Fort Worth, the 50,000-watt Voice of Texas. Back to play in third quarter action from Razorback Stadium. Here again, Connie Alexander. Carl White, defensive tackle for Texas, is out of the game now, favoring his left knee as he was assisted off the field. He is replaced by Scott Palmer, a 230-pound junior at defensive tackle from Houston Westbury. Second down, eight to go for Arkansas on the Texas 29. The snap to Montgomery. He crawfishes the pass. He has protection. He throws Dykes open on the 11. He's got it to the 10. The 5 over for a touchdown for Arkansas. Montgomery hits Dykes of Arkansas on the 11 yard line. He goes in standing up. It's 13 to nothing. And Montgomery, the passer, was hit in the right rib cage, and he walks off the field, but he is holding his right rib section. Montgomery, the passer. We'll have the try for extra point now. 9.06 remaining. Third quarter, Arkansas 13, Texas nothing. Bill McClard tied for 11th in NCAA scoring by kicking. We'll try the extra point. Here's the kick. It's on the way. It looks good. It's pure. And the score. Arkansas 14 and Texas nothing. Well, Stan, you remember back on October 11th, the University of Texas, the number one team in the nation, was down 14 to nothing to Oklahoma. They came from behind. Can they do it now? Stan? Well, that drive took uh, only five plays, Connie, and it moved 53 yards. The payoff coming, the 29-yard pass from Montgomery to Dykus, and boy, was that a beauty. And uh, we have nine minutes and six seconds remaining in the third quarter. Texas down 14-0. Arkansas has scored on their first and seventh possessions of this football game. Back to you, Connie. Now Bill McClard will kick off for the University of Arkansas at the North 40 under leaden sky on the Arkansas campus. 9.06 to play in the third quarter. Arkansas leading 14 to nothing. Spire and Bertelson are deep. The advance by McClard. End over end, bouncing on the 17 to Spire at the 3, up the middle to 5, 10, 15. Angles left to 20, out to the 25. Caught around the right hip by one tackler and sandwiched by another at the 28 yard line of Texas. Spire on the run back. Bracketed by two lads from the Arkansas kickoff unit, David Hogue was the first man to make the scene. We have nine minutes left in the third quarter, 24 minutes to go to the end of the game with Arkansas leading 14 to nothing. Our spotters this afternoon, Bobby Ermel of Texas, Bill Lavender of Arkansas, doing a tremendous job. Spire splits off to the right, eight yards off the tackle. Wide backfield, 6-2-2 on Arkansas defense. The ball is given to Coy. Coy slants to the left side. He is swarmed at the 30-yard line of Arkansas and carried across the near sideline by four Arkansans. Lynn Garner was the first man to horse collar him, bear hug him, and they rode him over the near sideline. And the ball is being brought in at the 31-yard line of Texas. It's going to be second down and eight to go as the ball was placed out officially after the kickoff at the 29 of Texas. It's second and eight now for Texas at their 31. Randy Stout comes in in place of Bobby Mitchell at left guard for Texas, 250 pounds. 
four-man front, two linebackers moving up on the line, one linebacker, four deep umbrella, parabolic secondary, street passing right, looking for Spire. Spire at midfield, makes the catch at the far sideline. A miraculous catch by Cotton Spire over his right shoulder with Dennis Berner covering, like, covering him like the dew. The ball at the 50-yard line, first and 10 for Texas. James Street hitting Cotton Spire. Spire caught one in the first half. Dykus caught three. Okay, it's first and 10 for Texas at the midfield strike. 8.31 to play. 6-2-2-1 Arkansas defense. It's Bertelson with the ball, struggling into Arkansas territory to about the 49-yard line. Hit down by Roger Hardish, a sophomore from Little Rock. Second down, nine to go for Texas on the Arkansas 49. Gordon McNulty makes his first appearance of the day in place of Rick Kersey. McNulty regularly a starter, but he's been bothered by a knee injury. Kersey was shaken up. Second down, nine. Swift left in, snap to streets, quarterback, fake handoff. He's looking left, looking for Spire. He's throwing for Spire. And it is intercepted by Berner on the 24-yard line of Arkansas. Berner makes the interception. The senior from Little Rock gets the ball for the Razorbacks. As Street threw for Spire, they had double coverage on Cotton Spire. And running in front of Spire for the interception was Dennis Berner. Arkansas takes over on its own 24. First and 10 to go. Seven minutes and 52 seconds remaining in the third quarter. We have uh, a brief delay downfield. Let's see. No, there's not a timeout. Arkansas coming to the line of scrimmage. Montgomery is back in there at quarterback. He was favoring his ribs after throwing the touchdown pass, but he's in. He fakes the handoff. He throws to Dykus left flat on the 24, the 25, the 30, the 35. Runs into a shoulder at the 37. Carries the tackle to the 38-yard line of Arkansas. That'll be a first down. Danny Lester, the fastest defender in the Texas defense, made the tackle. A junior from Amarillo, Tascosa. The ball on the 38-yard line. Razorback territory. First and 10 to go for the Hogs. The Hogs Hogs this afternoon are Cardinal jerseys, Cardinal helmets, Cardinal socks, and white trousers. Texas in white with orange trim. First and 10, Arkansas at its 38. Arkansas leads 14 to zip. Montgomery sprints out to the right behind two blockers. He's on a run pass option. He runs. He stiff arms at Texas, but uh, coming up is Mike Campbell. And Texas got a piece of him, and falling at the 40 is Montgomery. A Texas trailed Montgomery. A Texas 6'3, 257. He got a, a little piece of him, got him by the arm, pulled him down. Campbell, Mike Campbell, one of the twins on the Texas team, came along to help. They ruled the ball down on the Arkansas 40. It is second down coming in. Eight to go for the University of Arkansas. Texas with one, two, three, four, five. Four men up front. Now four linebackers, one of them up on the line. Three deep secondary. Flanker left, split right in. Two running backs behind the tackles. Draw play to Maxwell, and he is nabbed at the 40 and lunges to his own 41. Trying to go under Scott Halsell and, and uh, Bill Atessis, and Halsell was the man who nailed it. Maxwell on the carry, third and seven. down seven to go for Arkansas as it maneuvers from its own 41 yard line with a little over six minutes remaining of the third quarter it's Arkansas 14 Texas nothing Arkansas sets the slot to the wide side that's to the left it's a 4-4-2 on it's a 4-5-2 defense Montgomery runs option left pitches Burnett sweeping behind a block over the four to the 45 the 50 uh, loses his balance but regains it at the Texas 45 then is caught at the Texas 41 and dumped by Greg Platts of Texas the Texas 41, the tackle is made. Bruce Maxwell with a good block. Bill Burnett on the carry. The power sweeps to the left. Greg Platt was the man who hit the ball carrier first. And then Fred Steinmark cinched the tackle on the Longhorn 41. 
first and ten to go for Arkansas. Arkansas leading 14 to nothing. Texas with a winning string of 18. Arkansas undefeated in 15 games. The last time it lost was against Texas last year. To the line of scrimmage now. Brand of Arkansas over the ball. Reese, no, Dyka splits it right in. Reese flanked to the left. The pass is back at the far sideline. Two setbacks. A flag just before the snap. Montgomery takes it, but the play does not get off. It's going to be five yards against Arkansas. Delay of game. They took more than the prescribed 25 seconds to snap the ball. As Montgomery was communicating with a couple of his backs who did not seem to be lined up where he wanted them. By the time they got set, the 25 seconds were gone. The penalty will be first and 15. Arkansas operating at the Texas 46. We have five minutes, 23 seconds left. Third period, Arkansas on top, 14 to goose egg. Flanker left, split right in, two set backs. Montgomery yelling the signal. He has the snap. He gives to Burnett. Burnett filters through at right guard to the 41-yard line of Texas. Glenn Halsell and Scott Henderson, the two linebackers, are the lads who uh, accomplished the splashdown. Ronnie Hammers and Rob Brandt opened the way, and Bill Burnett knifed through. 189-pound running back who leads the Southwest Conference, came into this game with 818 yards. He had 40 in the first half. That would give him 858 up through the first half. He ran 859 yards last year. Flank to the left, split right in. Second down for Arkansas, about eight or nine to go. And there goes uh, Maxwell. A check of that Burnett with the ball, right up the mainstream to about the 37-yard line. Greg Fletch, the fine arts major from Sherman, is the lad who thinks it. Now let's see where they've got the ball. It's just inches outside the Texas 37. It's going to be third down and six to go. Third and six to go for Arkansas. The Texas 37, four minutes, 20 seconds remain to be played in the third period. Also goes out, replaced by David Richardson, a Texas linebacker. Four-man front, four linebackers, three deep secondary, rotated toward the Arkansas slot, which is to the right. Montgomery sprints out to the right, has good protection, lots of time, dodges a tackler, but that tackler has him nailed at the Texas 43, and that's Bill Atessas. Cool and calm Bill Montgomery, just as cool as an igloo, kept looking for those receivers. They tackle him for a loss. It's going to be fourth down. The ball is brought in on the Texas 42. Fourth down, 11 yards to go for the Razorbacks, who lead 14 to nothing with three minutes and 40 seconds to go in the third period. Kerry Stockdale, their putter is in. 6'5", 225 pounds. Putting to Fred Steinmark, 168 pounds. Good snap. The putt, wobbling spiral toward the near corner. Landing on the two, bounding into the end zone for a touchback. 42-yard putt. 3.24 to go, third quarter, and Arkansas leads Texas 14 to nothing. Now we're getting a timeout. We have a timeout downfield. You know, since the start of the season in September, humble crews have traveled more than 200,000 miles to bring you the Southwest Conference broadcast. A team of 14 announcers and six engineers have covered every Southwest Conference game every week, adding up to a total of about 147 broadcast hours, which is equivalent to more than six days of solid broadcasting. Now, if you're a regular listener, you've heard the voices of play-by-play -play announcers Jack Dale, Eddie Hill, Jim Wiggins, John Smith, Dan Lovett, and Glenn Brown describing the action for you. And they've been ably supported by the men who supply the statistics and describe all the additional color that surrounds college football. Men like Gene Arnold, Ray Boyd, Bob Hill, Mike Mitsovich, Bob Nash, and Dave Smith. And, of course, my colleague here today, Stan McKenzie. It takes all of us to bring you all these games each week. And we just hope that you've been getting as much enjoyment out of it as we have. This is Connie Alexander with Stan McKenzie at Razorback Stadium on the University of Arkansas campus, where Texas is ready to go first and 10 with only 18 minutes and 24 seconds to play there at their 20. Street hands it off to Wooster, and Wooster bruises the Arkansas defense for four yards to the Texas 24. 
Dick Bumpus and Terry Don Phillips are the last to bulldog that steer. Bob McKay and Mike Dean open the hole. Mike Dean, a youngster who likes skin diving and water skiing. He's from Sherman, Texas. Bob McKay, a 250-pound 6'6", All-American from Crane, at right tackle. Second down, six to go. Texas on his 24, the snap to three. He takes the handoff. He pitches Bertelson, sweeping right. Bertelson to 25, slithers through the 30, the 31-yard line. It looked as though he was going to be trapped back at the 25. And then he hips and rips through up to about the 31. That's a first down. Bob McKay, uh, or rather Ted Coy, went downfield for a key block. Mike Pachetti and Dennis Turner handling the defense for Arkansas. First and 10, Texas on its 31. 235 to play, third quarter. Texas down 14 to nothing. Street has it. Street running the option left. He keeps, he turns, he bounces off one of his own men, goes to his 35, to his 38-yard line. Terry Don Phillips and Dennis Werner are the two tacklers for Arkansas. James Street on the carry. He ran the option. Texas Payne three-way option. Street will either hand it to Wooster, the fullback. If he doesn't do that, he uh, options along the line for a keeper or a pitch to the trailing halfback. Split right in for Texas. Hands off to Wooster. Wooster finds a hole at right tackle over the 40, the 44-yard line. Wooster gets up slowly. He is limping, and we could actually see him grimace as he was tackled and landed on the acid turf. He is limping off, favoring one of his legs. Rick Kersey and Cliff Powell were the last who grabbed Wooster. It's another first down. Wooster got it at the Texas 44. Bobby Callison comes in for Wooster. Callison is an outstanding fullback himself. Split left in. That's Callison with the ball, and he knifes through a hole at left tackle to about his 48-yard line. He hit hard, 186-pounder, junior from Abilene High School in Texas. Lynn Garner made the tackle. Former high school All-State, All-Southern, and All-American at Fort Smith, Arkansas. The ball on the Texas 49. Second and five to go. Split right in late in the third quarter. A little over a minute left. 6 2, two one Arkansas defense. Hand off to Callison, who is hit hard at the line of scrimmage. A vertebra vibrating tackle by Cliff Powell. And that one was felt by all 45,000 folks. Bobby Callison hit hard for no gain. It'll be third and five. Texas at the 49-yard line of the Steers. Powell, with that last tackle, has played a spectacular defensive game at left linebacker for Arkansas. 4-4-3 Arkansas defense. Split right in for Texas. Street is going to pass. He's chucking complete at the Arkansas 43 to Spire, who is caught from behind and driven backward, but the forward progress will be to the Arkansas 43 for the first down, with 25 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Dennis Burner was the lad who caught Cotton Spire. Street with a pass, one of the Texas tri captains, who has a twin sister. The Arkansas 43 is Texas first and 10, trailing 14 to nothing in the dying seconds of quarter number three. Split right in, 6-2-2 on Arkansas defense. It's actually a five-man front with a linebacker up there on the front. Bobby Callison carries for the University of Texas, and he roots forward for a little bit of a gain as time runs out. The ball will be down about the Texas 42, or the Arkansas 42. That's the end of the third quarter. The score, Arkansas 14, Texas nothing.
Ready to go into the concluding quarter in Fayetteville. It'll be second down and nine for Texas on the Arkansas 42-yard line. 15 minutes to play. 45,000 spectators, including President Nixon, Billy Graham, the senators from both states, Senators Fulbright and McClellan of Arkansas. Senator Fulbright, incidentally, was an Arkansas football player in the 20s and is on the Arkansas All-Academic All-Time team. And Texas Senators Tower and Yarbrough are here. And Miss America, Judy Ford of Illinois, is in the uh, crowd this afternoon. The Texas band across the way, trying to stimulate and inspire the horns, who are on the rope, down 14 to nothing. The horns ranked number one. Wooster is back in the game at fullback for Texas, replacing Callison. The winner of the Kern Tips Memorial Trophy will be presented next Wednesday night in Dallas at a special banquet. During the winter meeting of the Southwest Conference, the eight nominees were Ted Gillum of Baylor, Steve Bradshaw of Rice, Buster Adamy of Texas A&M, Dickie Grigg, Texas Tech, Jerry Miller, TCU, Ted Coy of Texas, Terry Stewart of Arkansas, and Daryl Doggett of SMU. The winner's name will be revealed at the banquet next Wednesday night in Dallas. And now we're ready to go back to play. Second and nine for Texas at the Arkansas 42 as we start the fourth and closing quarter. Street is back to pass. He gets a hard Arkansas rush. He dodges to the 45, the Arkansas 40. Breaks the tackle to the 35, goes to 30, the 25. To the 20, the 15, to the 10, to the 5, and over for a Texas touchdown. James Street goes 42 yards for a touchdown for Texas. One desperate defender, Dick Bumpus, was chasing him, but he couldn't catch him as Street ran desperately for the near corner, went in standing up. Bob McKay and Charles Spire through getaway blocks on the 42-yard touchdown dash by James Street of Texas. The try for extra points. They're going to go for two. They are not going to try for one. It's 14 to 6. They're going to go for two. They're at the line of scrimmage on the three-yard line. Snap to Street. Fakes the handoff. He runs the option. He keeps. He dives for the end zone. He's there for two points. Rick Kersey of Arkansas gave it all he had. He was shaken up on the play. James Street got it in by about the length of the pick skip, and the score chose Arkansas 14 and Texas 8. How about that, Stan? Very interesting to note, Connie, that Texas has had possession of the pick skin nine times today, and uh, get this field position. They've had to start 80 yards away, 80 yards away, 70, 63, 82, 80, 71, and 80 yards away. They finally pushed it across on their last possession, and they've used 55 plays today, Arkansas 37. It's a new ball game. Arkansas leads with almost a full quarter to go. It's Arkansas 14 and Texas 8. Only 13 seconds of the fourth quarter are gone. Now Texas trails by only six. They came from behind against Oklahoma. They were down 14-0. They won 27-17. Happy Feller will kick off. James Patrick Feller from Fredericksburg, Texas. Bruce Maxwell and Bill Burnett are deep. Burnett standing at his old one-yard line right in front of the goal post. Maxwell over at the eight at the far hash mark. And a Mike Hendron in the run-back unit for Arkansas at his eight at the near side. In 11 coaching confrontations, 45-year-old Darrell Royal holds a 7-4 edge over 44-year-old Frank Broyles. They're on opposite sides of the gridiron here again this afternoon. Darrell pacing along the far sideline, Frank along the near sideline, both of them with hands in pockets. Darrell completing his 13th year at Texas has produced 10 bowl teams. 
going for his second national championship, his sixth conference crown. Frank Royals finishing his 12th year at Arkansas, has been architect of eight bowl teams, also is going for his second national championship and his seventh conference title. Their records in the 60s, Darrell 84, 19, and 3, Royals 82, 22, and 1. Here is a long kickoff by Feller, 70 yards with the tailwind. It'll be a touchback, and Arkansas will take over at its 20-yard line. Frank Broyles and Darrell Royal themselves, both collegiate stars. And their teams are doing battle this afternoon before the eyes of the sports world. And one of the greatest confrontations in the entire history of football. Arkansas takes it. First and 10 at its own 20-yard line. 14 minutes, 47 seconds to go until quitting time. 45,000 clock watchers on hand here at Razorback Stadium. Arkansas has a tight left end, two running backs, a slot to the right. 6-2-2-1, Texas defense. Montgomery gives it to Burnett. Burnett runs into a barricade at right tackle. He gets one yard. Big Bill Atessas was the man who gummed up the work. 257 pounds. He wears 23 pounds of pads. And that was what stopped Bill Burnett, the 189-pound sensation from Bentonville, Arkansas. Burnett is tied for third nationally in scoring coming into today's game. He has one touchdown today. Montgomery is back to pass on second and nine. He's cool. He throws to Dykus on his own 39. The 40. Dykus jumps at the Arkansas 41-yard line. Wrestled down by Danny Lester of the Texas Anti-Aircraft Unit in the deep secondary. Dykus with a reception. He caught nine passes against TCU earlier this year. Had uh, 33 receptions coming in through the game. And this afternoon has set the Arkansas career record. It was formerly 83 career receptions. Dykus has surpassed that. He has one touchdown catch along with a touchdown by Burnett. First and 10, Arkansas at its own 41. Slot to the right toward the wide side of the field. Here's the option. And there's a pitch to Burnett, sweeping right, the 40. He is hit at the 43 and slowed and comes down at his own 45. Bill Burnett on the carry. Halsell was the man who got it. Glenn Halsell closing the muscle gap at the 45-yard line of Arkansas. Going to be second down. Seven yards to go for the Razorback. A frenzied crowd at Razorback Stadium. The Battle of Fayetteville. 15-25 left in the game. Arkansas leads 14 to 8. Don't go away. Slot to the left side. 4-4-3 four, four, defense. Over shifted toward the Arkansas slot. Montgomery runs option. He keeps turn to his own 47. Caught from behind and from the left side simultaneously by Bill Atessis and David Arledge to the end. One pursuing and one boxing. It's on the Arkansas 47. Third down. Four to go. Richardson in for Halsell at the Texas linebacker slot. 4-4-2-1 four, four, defense. Slot to the right. Split left end, Arkansas. Montgomery dropping back to pass. Back spaces to his 39. Fires down the middle to Rikers. He makes the grab of the 38. He's up on the Texas 35. There's a flag. There is a flag. Illegal procedure. Preliminary signal against Arkansas. And that cheer in the background is from the Texas delegation. The pass was from Montgomery to Dykus. It was good, and he carried it to the Texas 35. But that one is being negated by the five-yard penalty for illegal procedure against Arkansas. Now, that uh, signal covers 11 different infractions. And generally, though, it is for a false start. Somebody up there in the line simulating the start of a play. It'll be third down. And about nine to go for Arkansas in its own 42. Also comes back in from Splinterville. And Richardson goes back to the Texas bench. Also back into the game for Texas. Montgomery is dropping back to pass. He stands in the pocket seven yards deep. Fires down the middle to Dykus, who is surrounded by Texas tacklers, but makes the catch and falls. Going down on the Texas 37-yard line. Mike Campbell knocked him off his feet. Chuck Dykus caught that one in the crowd, as they say, literally surrounded, corralled by Longhorn, but it was on the bullseye. A perfect strike from Mr. Bill Montgomery. Mr. Cool from Carrollton, Texas, a pre-law student. How'd you like to have him defending you, Dick? Wow. OK, 
Okay, it's on the 38-yard line of Texas. It's first and 10, Arkansas. 12-12 to go in the fourth fourth. Slot to the right for Arkansas. Montgomery sprints out right. He's looking for a receiver. He stops. He chunks. He's got a man open down to the 25-yard line. It's, it's a John Reeves who is hit immediately by Tom Campbell. Forward progress to the Texas 24. Reese was down in the right sideline area, took it on a comeback, an outside curl, and Arkansas has the first down of the Texas 24. 12 minutes to go. Score, Arkansas 14, Texas 8. First and 10, Arkansas, the Texas 24. Here come the Razorbacks through the line. The crowd. Getting quiet. Montgomery wants a timeout. Montgomery wants a timeout. Timeout, Arkansas. There's a call timeout on the field of the score. Arkansas 14, Texas 8. Come in, Stan McKenzie. Just because your car is hard to start doesn't necessarily mean that you need a new battery. The battery terminals often become corroded, leading to discharge and eventual loss of power or the trouble could be in your battery cable. It may need replacing, but not necessarily the battery. Your ENCO dealer can prevent these problems by checking the battery cable when he checks your battery and by keeping your terminals clean and grease. Comes time when you really do need a new battery, he's the man to see for the complete Atlas line from the dependable, economical Atlas K to the big, power-packed Atlas THD. So good that it's guaranteed for 60 months. If starting is a problem, start down to your ENCO dealers this weekend. ENCO, where you'll get all the extras. It's time for a station break. And to remind you that the live action of Southwest Conference football is brought to you by Humble Oil and Refining Company and your happy motoring dealers. We pause now for station identification. This is KRLD 1080 Dallas in its 44th year at your service. Welcome back to the sights and sounds of Razorback Stadium. This is Stan McKenzie with Connie Alexander. We're in the fourth quarter. Arkansas leads Texas 14 to 8. Back to play with Connie Alexander. Okay, Stan, everybody's uptight, and this game is out of sight, as they say. We're ready to go first and 10 on the Texas 24th Arkansas ball. Montgomery has the snap. He drops the pass. He's throwing deep, way over everybody's head. There is a flag. There is a flag thrown about the 19 yard line of Texas. Preliminary signal is illegal use of hands. Texas is going to be penalized. We're awaiting the movements of referee Carl Landis. He is penalizing Texas. He's moving it to the nine-yard line in Texas territory. Dykes was the intended receiver on the pass from Montgomery. They put the ball on the 10. So the scene of the crime was the 20. Illegal use of hands. Penalty half the distance to the goal line. Now Dr. Landis moves it closer to the 9. So the foul occurred at the 18. The neighbors in for Steinbach in the Texas defense. Arkansas first and goal to go on the 9-yard line. Montgomery calling signals. He sprints out to the right behind three blockers. He's on the 15. He's down to the 10. He cuts left. He's caught on the right knee and dropped on the seven-yard line. Score 14 to 8. Arkansas deep in Texas territory now. They push the Longhorns back to the edge of the cliff. It is second and goal to go for Arkansas. On the Texas 7, a Tessus was the first man to hit the ball carrier. Montgomery also came along then to finally shoot him down. It is second down, goal to go, Arkansas on the Texas 7-yard line. The ball at the far hash mark, brand up and over the ball. Slot to the left to the wide side of the field, 6-5 Texas defense. Montgomery sprints out to the left toward the wide side, throwing from the 15 toward the end zone. It is incomplete, short of the intended receiver. Montgomery was knocked off his feet. Knocked down by David Arledge, the 183-pound defensive end who was putting a tremendous rush on him and forced Montgomery to throw poorly and short of the intended receiver who was Chuck Dyson. Third down, goal to go. 
the Texas drums in the background. 10.49 remaining of the game. Arkansas 14 of Texas 8. And Arkansas is threatening. Texas digs in, trying to hold the fort. They have the advantage in that Arkansas is longitudinally restricted as far as passing is concerned. Flanker right, split left in. Montgomery sprints left to the wide side. Throws toward the end zone. Intercepted the yard behind the goal line. Up to the goal line of the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20-yard line comes Danny Lester. Lester intercepted in his own end zone. A yard behind the goal line. Stealing it from the waiting arms of Chuck Dykus. And he ran it out to the 20-yard line of Texas. Texas takes over. 10.39 to play. Montgomery was the man who made the saving tackle on Danny Lester, who has just skyjacked his fourth pass of the season. 10.39 to go. The Texas band. Okay, we're ready for play. Texas first and 10 on its 20. The snap to three. Makes the handoff to his fullback. Runs off to left. Pitches Coy around left in. Caught him at 22. Driven out of bounds to the far side of the field. Caught in a web of tacklers. Dennis Burner and Lynn Garner. The Arkansas aficionados. 40,000. Texas, 5,000 rooters. The sun is a wall here at Razorback Stadium. It has not made an appearance today. It does not appear to be raining, but it's a misty-looking afternoon with temperature in the 40s. President Nixon on hand. His helicopter's waiting at the end of the field. 10.32 to go. Draw play, Wooster to the 25, caught with the right knee and dumped on the Texas 26. That'll bring up third and four for Texas. Dick Bumpus was the tackler. A youngster active in the fellowship of Christian athletes. He plays the guitar and he aspires to coach. He weighs 225. The ball is on the Texas 26. It's third down, four to go. Steve Booster, a junior from Bridge City, was the man who carried that ball. He rushed for 58 yards and 16 tries in the first half. Coy flanks to the right. Fire splits at right end. Back to pass the street. He looks left. He throws. Complete the special at the Texas 40. He stumbles and crash lands on his own 41-yard line. Street hitting Peschel, who bags his 13th catch of the year. He caught one for a home run, a touchdown. First and 10 Texas on the Texas 41. Time remaining, 9.51. Randy Stout in for Bobby Mitchell. And the hog call. the snap on first down it's the option reverse with fire running around right end to the 40 he's the 45 to the 50 down to the arkansas 46 he spins and carries the tackler inside the arkansas 45 and out of bounds at the 44 yard line of the razorback bob mckay downfield with the block bobby fields mike bochetti are the tackler the ball is brought in on the Arkansas 45, first and 10 for Texas. 9.22 to go in the game. Arkansas leading 14 to 8. Now Texas is 45 yards away from the tying touchdown, and here they come to the line of scrimmage. It's the Y backfield. The snap is the street. The handoff is the coy off left tackle. He struggles down inside the 40 to the 39-yard line of the Cardinal. Ted Coy from Belleville, 212-pound senior. Following a block of Jim Bertelson to the Arkansas 39, where Mike Bachetti and Cliff Powell made the tackle. Second down, four to go. Flanker left, split right in, and Street wants the timeout. Street wants the timeout. That stops the clock with 8.42 remaining in the game. Arkansas leads 14 to 8. It is second down, and four to go for Texas coming up at the Arkansas 39. A great many writers were here, and many dignitaries, and uh, most of them stayed at Bella Vista, the resort about 30 miles north of Arkansas last night. And we want to thank uh, the officials, uh, Mr. Cooper, and Mr. Billingsley of Bella Vista, for their great hospitality last night. Here's Stan McKenzie. Do you know that these humble football broadcasts are the oldest continuous radio programs of any sort under one sponsorship in the United States? or quite possibly the world. 
Nearly 2,000 intercollegiate Southwest Conference games have been aired since that last October of 1934 when Rice played Texas. This season alone, we broadcast 49 games. And as this is the season's closer, I'd like to tip my hat to the guys who get us on the air every week. I mean engineers, Charles Bowles, Elvis Clark, Buddy Krause, also O.B. Johnson, Dan Offheim, and Richard Meeks. Without them, we'd just be talking to ourselves, Connie. With Texas score here in the first play of the fourth quarter, that put Texas over the 400-point mark for one year, Connie. That's easily a new Southwest Conference and, of course, a new team record for Texas. Right, Stan, we're ready to go back to action now. It is second down, four yards to go for Texas on the Arkansas 39. The ball some 25 yards from the far side of the field with eight minutes and 42 seconds left of the game. Flanker to the left, the right end is split. And the handoff is given to Wooster, and Wooster whirls into the line. The unswervable Mr. Wooster goes to about the 38-yard line. Bruce James, Terry Don Phillips team up for the tackle. The ball on the Arkansas 38, third down and three to go. Texas is in what would probably be called four down territory, third and three to go. To the line of scrimmage come the horn. 4-4-2-1, Arkansas defense. Moving into a five-band front just before the snap. Street has it. Street pitches out to Coy, who juggles it. It bounces. He dives for it at the 42. Struggle at the Arkansas 42. Arkansas's ball. Arkansas cuts the ball. Okay, recapping. Here's what happened. Street took it. Somebody, a defender, was coming in on him, and they really bothered him. He pitched it, trying to get it away to Coy. It was McNulty who was bothering him, McNulty or Buffett. And then as Street pitched it for Coy, he pitched it a little high. Coy juggled it. He couldn't control it. It fell to the astroturf. He sort of dribbled it once. He dived for it. Then it was recovered by either Jerry Moore or Dennis Burner. In any event, Arkansas has got it. The Arkansas 42 with eight minutes to go. Arkansas to the line, first and ten at its own 42. And a handoff is to Burnett, and he has hit hard. A savage tackle on the line of scrimmage by Scott Palmer, son of Darrell Palmer, former TCU All-American. Greg Sweat also there with the shoulder in the Texas defense. Forward progress ruled one, uh, no gain, maybe a maybe, uh, foot or so. It'll be second down, almost 10. Arkansas at the Arkansas 42-yard line. Montgomery, Burnett, Dykus, and Maxwell in the backfield. Dykus is a slot to the left. Eight yards outside the tackle, three yards inside the split left end reach. There are two running backs. It is a 4-4-2-1 overshifted Texas defense. There goes Burnett at right tackle to his own 44. And hanging up the no vacancy sign there are Bill of Texas and Greg Plett with 7-13 remaining in the game. The clock is rolling. Texas is behind by six. Arkansas leads 14 to eight. The ball is inside the Arkansas 44. It's going to be third down and a healthy eight yards to go for the Razorback. The crowd is on its feet. The right end split. The left end split. 12 yards. There is a slot back. That's Dykus. Montgomery is back to pass. He slips. He's in trouble on his 35. Down he goes in one of Darrell's royal receptions of the 36-yard line in Arkansas territory. Bill Atessis and David Arledge on the tackle, and they made a quarterback sandwich at the 36-yard line of Arkansas. And that's going to be fourth down covenant. 16 to go for the Razorbacks. 629 remaining in the game. Fire goes back. Fire will be the runback man. Stockdale is going to have to punt it to him into a headwind about six or eight miles per hour it'll detain the ball a little helmet high snap hard run floating kick coming down to spire fair catch he's got it at his 35. fair catch by cotton spire of texas around the texas 35 or six let's see where they pinpoint the big skin on the 36 yard line texas territory six minutes ten seconds remaining that was a 28 yard kick by stockwell Texas to the line, 64 yards away from the tying touchdown, six and a half minutes to go, Street has the snap, 
Dempsey gives it to Coy on the inside belly left. He is swarmed at the line of scrimmage. Gives the second effort to about his 38-yard line. Ted Coy on the tackle. Rushed 601 yards last year. Steve Birdwell is now in at Monster Band for Bobby Field of Arkansas. And Birdwell made the tackle. Stop him off from Murfreesboro, Arkansas. Of an outstanding high school printer. For Texas, second down, nine. At the Texas 37. Street has the snap. He gives it to his fullback, Wooster. And Wooster battles over right tackle outside the 40 to the 42. And then is swirled backwards by Dick Bumpus and Cliff Powell. Five and a half minutes remaining. Arkansas 14, Texas 8. Texas ranked number one in the nation. Arkansas is ranked number two. It is third down for Texas. Five yards, about four yards to go. The line to gain is the 46. It's about the 42. It's third and four. This is a big play. Hold on. The signal, the snap. Wooster at left tackle. Wooster to the 43, perhaps the 44. He did not get the first down. Wooster did not get the first down with 4.56 to go on the clock ticking. Dick Bumpus collided with Wooster first. Mike Machetti and Lynn Garner then came along to finally send him earthward. And Texas wants a timeout. James Street, the Texas quarterback, is going over to the far sideline. We'll put the binoculars on this and see if we can try to determine what Street's doing. He's talking with Darrell Royal. 4.47 left in the game. The ball on the Texas 44-yard line, just inches inside the 44. They must go to the 46-yard line in order to achieve the first down. So it is fourth down, two yards to go for Texas. And here's the hog call. Arkansas hog call, and will that be the death knell for the championship hope for Texas? 4.47 left on the clock, Arkansas 14 and Texas 8. Street finishes his conference at the sideline. Put yourself in the shoes of Darrell Royal, James Street, fourth down, two to go, 4.47 to play, you're behind by six points, playing for the national championship, what would you do? Texas is huddling, and we'll see what their decision is in just a moment. They're huddling so long, they're surely not going to punt. Here they are to the line of scrimmage. They're going to go for all the marbles. Put right in. Reed has it. Fakes the handoff. He's going to pass. He's throwing the bomb. He's looking for Peschel. Peschel has it. Peschel is down on the 13-yard line of Arkansas. How about that one? Down and two to go. They throw the bomb on a flag pattern to Randy Peschel, who catches it over his shoulder behind Jerry Moore and Dennis Turner inside the 20. He lands on the 13, a 45-yard gain. A 45-yard gain on the bomb coming with fourth and two to go. Four minutes and 34 seconds left in the game. Arkansas 14, Texas 8. Here come the horn at the Arkansas 13. First down and 10 to go. Street calling the signals. Street gives it to the second man, Coy. At left tackle. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. He wiggles to the two-yard line. Coy down to the 2. Where Mike Machetti saves the day for the Arkansas defense. Now let's paint the picture for you. Four minutes, 17 seconds to go. The clock stopped on the first down. It'll start as soon as the ball is ready for play. Arkansas leads 14 to 8. They're ahead by 6. But now Texas has an opportunity to get in there. They're on the two-yard line. First down and goal to go. First and goal to go. Texas on the Arkansas 2. 6-5 Arkansas defense. Hand off to Bertelson. Bertelson up the middle. He's going, going, he's gone for the touchdown. And ladies and gentlemen, that ties it up at Arkansas 14 and Texas 14. Now here comes Happy Feller, the Texas place kicker. His record this year, 42 out of 44. He 
had a long string before getting it broken. If he makes this one, he'll not only put his team ahead, but he will break the conference record for total extra points in a season. Wigginson will hold. The wind is not much of a factor. It's tied 14 and 14. The linemen are down there. Here's the snap. It's on the tee. It's off the toe. Bingo! It's Texas 15, Arkansas 14. Here's Dan McKenzie. Tony, that drive went 64 yards. It took six plays. Of course, the big bomb, as you described it, 45 yards a pass from James Street on a fourth and two situation. Now, this is the situation. There's three minutes, 58 seconds remaining. Texas leads by one point, 15 to 14. The Hogs will have the football, and it's anybody's ball game. Back to you, Connie. Three minutes and 58 seconds to go in the game. Now you remember, Stan, in 1965, when Texas was down by about three touchdowns. They came from behind. They moved ahead in the closing minutes. Then Arkansas came from behind to win 27 or 24 right on this gridiron. Here's the kickoff by Feller, and he powers it deep, deep, deep over the shoulder of Burnett, 65 yards away off Burnett's fingers for a touchback. So, 3.58 to go. Arkansas 14, but now Texas 15 after Arkansas enjoyed the lead. Let's try to get a look at Darrell Roy. I can just single him out on the sideline. I can't see him. Frank Royals on the near side with his hands in his pockets, looking down at the moment. Now he looks up to his offense, which is huddling on the 10. 358 to go. Here they come to the line of scrimmage. 15 to 14, Texas lead. Split left in, split right in, flanker to the right, two running backs, Montgomery back to pass. He chucks, completes to Dykus on the 26. He's hit immediately by Henderson and drops on the 25 of Arkansas. Montgomery chunking to Dykus. Dykus has made the American Football Coaches Association All-Star Squad this year. An honorable mention All-American is a junior from Garland, Texas. He was down on the Arkansas 25. It'll be second and five. Richardson in for Halsell of the Texas defense. Montgomery is back to pass. Stands on his own 17. Fires it up the middle. It is dropped by Pat Morrison on a hook at the 33-yard line. Morrison had to leap a little. 220-pounder who has caught 17 this season. Three for touchdown. That stops the clock with 3.25 remaining in the game. That brings up third down and five to go for Arkansas. Texas leads 15 to 14. Texas 15 to 14. 3.25 to go. Here's third down and five. This is a critical side. Texas is digging in. Fortifying its defense now. Arkansas to the line. They're splitting their left end. They're flankering to the right. Montgomery is back to pass. He chunks, completes to Dykus on a delay, completed the 29, but he is driven back to the 26. He did not get the first down. He was hit at the 29 and a half, one half yard away from the first down by Scott Henderson, who really jolted him. 3.05 to go, fourth down, a half a yard to go for Arkansas with three minutes left in the game. Arkansas, fourth down, half a yard to go at the Arkansas 29 and a half yard line. They've got to go to the 30. Here they come in a running formation. 2.52 left, and timeout is being called by Texas now. It's a Texas timeout. Two minutes and 51 seconds to go. Texas leading 15 to 14. I'd like to take just a moment to express our thanks to all the sports information directors who've helped us so much this fall. Bill Morgan, the information director for the Southwest Conference, to Jones Ramsey and Bill Little of Texas, Jim Bell of Arkansas, assistant athletic director Jim Brock of SMU, Jim Garner, TCU, Speck Gamut of Texas A&M, Ralph Carpenter, Texas Tech, Bill Whitmore of Rice, and David K. Wood, who has just moved from Baylor to SMU this week. And our deepest gratitude to a fine group of spotters, Bobby Ermel for Texas, Bill Lavender of Arkansas, Dave Yaggy, SMU, Randy Warren, TCU, George Cox, Texas Tech, Bill Beal, Baylor, Harvey Ashenbeck, A&M, and Mike Malone of Rice. And I think we ought to plug our All-American engineers, Dick Weeks, Buddy Cruz, Charlie Bowles, Elvis Clark, O.B. Johnson, and Don O'Brien, just some of the people who've been a part of this 36th year of the Humble Football Network, the world's oldest radio series. 
And what a thrill it is to be speaking to our servicemen and their dependents around the world today and to our special networks this afternoon in Alaska. Ready to go. Fourth down, half a yard. Arkansas to the line of scrimmage. Here's the snap. And Burnett dives at left guard, and I think he got the first down. Looks like he got it by about a half a yard. He sailed over the 30. That was the line to gain. First down. Okay, two minutes and 47 seconds to go. Now the clock starts again as the ball is made ready for play after the first down where Glenn Halsell and David Arledge made the tackle. It's just inside the 31. It's a 30 and a half. We'll call it the Arkansas 31. Montgomery is back to pass. Stands on his own 22. Fires into the left flat to Burnett. Complete it to 39. Out of bounds at his own 40. Burnett on a play action delay pattern. Off into the left flat toward the near sideline. Stopping the clock with 2.29 to go. The gain was nine yards. Let's see where they bring the ball in. Texas leads 15 to 14. Two and a half minutes to go. They are putting the ball squarely on the 40-yard line of Arkansas. Second down coming, half a yard to go. Time is of the essence. Two minutes and 29 seconds to play in the game. The gloom starts closing in on Arkansas. Slot to the right. Option run to the right by Montgomery, and he gets his first down. As he swivels up to about the 42, maybe he's on 43. Bill Atessis on the tackle. And Montgomery is putting his left shoe back on. The ball is on the 42 and a half yard line of Arkansas. Two minutes, 25 seconds to go. First and 10 for the Razorbacks. Now the clock starts, 2.22 remaining. And a timeout is called by Arkansas's Montgomery as he is having to put his, uh, make an adjustment on his right shoe. That stops the clock with two minutes, 21 seconds to go. Stan? Well, again today we're seeing in this Southwest Conference encounter two of the nominees for the Kern Tips Memorial Trophy. Those nominees are for Arkansas, great defensive back Terry Stewart, senior chemical engineering major and senior class president from uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas. He carries almost a 3.5 grade average. And for Texas, halfback and tri-captain Ted Coy, senior communications major from Belleville, Texas. Ted has maintained A's and B's in all advanced journalism courses at Texas, a young man with a rich gridiron heritage. To be nominated for the Kern Tips Memorial Award, which was presented last year to Chris Gilbert of Texas, an athlete must be a senior of high academic standing of unquestioned morals, and he must display qualities of sportsmanship and be the best player on the team who meets these other criteria. Back to you, Connie. Arkansas is ready once again. First down, 10 to go at the Arkansas 42. And now as they come to the line of scrimmage, there is a, another brief delay. Arkansas goes back to rehuddle. A towel is placed over the ball. As it is raining in Arkansas now, and thousands of umbrellas spring up like uh, weeds in a yard across the way. 45,000 spectators here. Arkansas breaking out of the huddle now. 2.21 to go. Flanker right, split left in. Montgomery gives it on the draw to Maxwell, and Maxwell is caught at the 42 and lunges forward to about his 44. Scott Henderson, a Perry Mason of the Pro Late Spheroid, analyzed that draw play and made the tackle at the 44-yard line of the Razorbacks. It'll be second down and about eight and a half to go. Between eight and nine yards to go. Two minutes remaining of the game. Texas leading 15 to 14. Flanker right. Split left in. Montgomery backpedals to his 35 to pass. He reads the coverage. He fires to the left side. And Burnett catches it at the near sideline and goes out of bounds to the Texas 46-yard line. Can they get into field goal range? Burnett caught the pass. And they're bringing it in on the Texas 46. Now McClard, their field goal kicker, let me have McClard's tag. McClard, their field goal kicker, has kicked one 56 yards in high school. Arkansas is moving into the win. The minute 51 to go. The ball on the 46-yard line of Texas. Texas leads by one point. Slot to the right. Four-man front. Montgomery back to pass. He fires to the left side. Burnett has that sideline pass again. He makes the catch at the 39. He does not get out of bounds. He is dumped by Bill Zapolak, 
who sends him earthward at the Texas 39. A minute 37, the clock rolling. A minute 35. It is second down coming for Arkansas. And about three yards to go at the Texas 39. A minute 28. Texas leads 15-14. A minute 25 to play. Slot to the right side. Montgomery wants a timeout. He simply turns, signals timeout, and starts walking over coach, uh, toward Coach uh, Frank Broyles at the near sideline. And Montgomery is conferring with one of the Arkansas assistants who is on the phone up to the press box. We, we saw the coaches from the two teams come back to the dressing room up here to the press box where they scout. And you should have seen the tension that gripped their faces as they came back for this second half. A minute 22 remaining in the game in Texas 15 and Arkansas 14. And it's going to be second down coming for Arkansas to Texas 39. They must go three yards to the Texas 36 for a first down from scenic Fayetteville, Arkansas, 30 miles from Oklahoma, 40 miles from Missouri, and in an ocean of frenzy. This is Connie Alexander with Stan McKenzie at one of the greatest confrontations in the 100-year history of college football. Offensive line coach Verb Johnson was the man with whom Mr. Montgomery was conferring. Now we're about ready to go back to play. Here they come to the line of scrimmage. Slot to the right on second and three at the Texas 39. It's Arkansas's ball. Montgomery sprints out to the right on a run pass option. He fires down to the 20-yard line. It is intercepted. Intercepted by Texas. Tom Campbell makes the interception at the far sideline at the Texas 22. And Dykus, the intended receiver, was sitting just inbound with his head hanging, looking down at the Astroturf. The interception by Tom Campbell. And that will give the ball to Texas at the 22-yard line in Texas territory with a minute 13 to go as Campbell makes his sixth interception of the year. He was the lad who was the outstanding defensive player in the Cotton Bowl game against Tennessee last year. And with that interception, he may have sealed the bid to the Cotton Bowl against Notre Dame. Texas to the line, first and 10. Hand off to Wooster, left guard. He fights to the 23-yard line. Now we'll watch that clock, a minute seven, a minute six. Texas must go to its own 32 for another first down. Credit the tackle to Boschetti and Bumpus. The ball is just inside the Texas 23. So it is second down coming. Nine yards to go. The clock is rolling. 49 seconds. Texas taking lots of time in the huddle. 45 seconds. Texas to the line of scrimmage. They split their right end. Arkansas frantic now. Quarterback sneak by Street. Straight ahead over the 25. Plows to the 29-yard line. 34 seconds. The clock is rolling. It'll be third down coming. The ball on the 29 of Texas. 25 seconds to go. Tackled by the firm of Bumpus, Phillips, James, Garner, Buschetti, Powell, and McNulty. The ball on the Texas 29, a little closer to the 30. Third down, a couple to go. 14 seconds remaining. Texas in the huddle. Third down. Arkansas's hopes are dying. The new Titans around the Arkansas next. Now here is a timeout call by one of the... Uh, the referee, he wanted something thrown off the field. Six seconds remaining of the game. This should be the last play of the game. Six seconds, three seconds. The clock is ticking. And time runs out before the snap. And that is the end of the game with the final score, Texas 15, Arkansas 14.